Hi, I'm Matt, and in this episode, I'm going to be showing you how you can copy your settings in one model run in iNav and then copy them to another model which you also want to run iNav. Now, that may sound complicated, but to be honest, if you can manage copy and paste, this is dead simple to do. So, what do you need? Well, obviously, you need a model which you would like to copy the settings from and I've got my little wing wing z84 here which uh, I took her out and I did the maiden with her this morning and it was flawless uh, just one tiny setting change which I need to make but that's the example which I'm going to give you I've got a omnibus f4 v2 flight control board in here and I just so happen to have another one in my hands just there. And what I'd like to do is copy all the settings which I've got on that one across to this one here. Now, that sounds kind of like scary because what you might want to do, well, the long way of doing it is that you plug in your board and you maybe take screenshots or try and remember the settings which you've got. And then, because you can't run it side by side and that's not the way to do it. Instead, there's a very, very simple way and you've got to type one command and copy and paste. So with that said, let's do this for real. So I'm going to plug in my Wing Wing is 84. There we go, it's been connected. Oh, there we go, happy days. It's been and it appeared, and apologies, one of the serv servos is gonna rattle, so you're gonna get a little bit of rattling noise down there. Nothing I can do about that, I'm afraid. Uh, if we go down, or if you go down to the CLI tab in the bottom left-hand corner, and the magic command, which you need to know, is uh, just type in D-I-F-F, diff, okay? And press enter. And that will give you all the settings which you have been in changed for that setup of iNav. So what I'm now gonna go and do is scroll up to the top, well, just you can just copy the whole lot, to be honest. Well, I'm starting from diff, going all the way down and I'm just copying the whole lot. So I've just been and copied those settings. So I'm right, and click, right clicking and choosing copy. Uh, you can press Control C on your keyboard to copy it, uh, Command and uh, C on a Mac. So that board, we're done with. So we can disconnect that one. Now I need another USB lead, which and I've got the other board here, so we're gonna plug that one in now. Try and mash that in there. Now, I have already been and loaded that one up with iNav already. Uh, and the reason why I know it's already got iNav on there, well, number one, I've already been and flashed it. How would you know? Is that you'll notice that we've got this bar up here. And if you click on show log on the right hand side, is that if you, uh, that will expand the log out. And then you'll see in there, flight controller, at, there you go, identifier iNav version 1.7.0. Okay, so I know this board is running iNav. Happy days. I've just taken the details from one iNav board from one version 1.7, which right now is the latest version. Obviously your version number may be greater than that. Uh, well, I'm recording this in the 2nd of June, 2017. So you may be uh, with a much later version. That's fine, of course. Anyway, those settings. We're now gonna go to the CLL to CLI, so the Command Line Interface tab. And where it says down here, where it says write your command here, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna take that and choose paste, and then I'm gonna press enter. Can you see that populated on my screen? Ta -da, da 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 All those settings which we've changed in one model and I wanted to copy to another one, that's it. Copy and paste. Now there's one last command which you need to know about, which is that you need to type in save in that little box down at the bottom, and then press enter. Your board will now reboot and it's been and got all of the settings which you had on the other board. Happy days. It's as simple as that. It was copy and paste. So I'm just going to quickly recap those steps for you. Down to the CLL tab, you type in diff, D-I-F-F. Press enter. Those are all the chain, uh, settings which are different to the standard settings. You highlight those and you copy them. You connect your new board, sorry, and then just connect that board. Connect your new board, which is obviously needs that I now flashed on it, whatever version you're using. Go to the CLL tab, click down into this bottom box, right click, choose paste, press enter, and then type save. 
your board will then reboot and then happy days, all your settings have been copied from one board to another board using copy and paste. I love it when it's this easy. So with that said, I need to go and get that board soldered up so I can get it in another model. And on that note, from myself, Matt, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this episode. I'll see you again in the next one. Cheerios!